it's one of the great uh, entrepreneurial stories in Dallas. And it wasn't really because of my partner and me. It was a it was the group of established, seasoned entrepreneurs in Dallas who reached out and embraced us, and they gave us the fuel we needed in in terms of knowledge, uh, understanding of what it takes to grow a company to to go. There's a lot of value about having. Um, older men and women that have been through the fire, that have been there from day one, have sat in the trenches and watched that bullet whiz by your ear, right? When you're starting your new business, those are the best people to learn from. It was one of those moments, again, where I realized these guys that had been at the forefront of their industry, people that so many people look up to, they were people that were just intensely looking out for me. There's other communities in, in the country that I wouldn't say are quite as uh, friendly, M much more competitive and less cooperative. But for whatever reason, Dallas has this, um, this integrity, this value system kind of built in at the lowest level. And so it's more a cultural thing. And no one ever told me that I ought to think about giving back. It's just obvious. It just, that's what you do. When I had people so unselfishly over so many years, help us. I, I don't know how I couldn't. Sometimes if you punch well above your weight, you're going to end up finding some people that you would otherwise never dream to speak to that are more than willing to go the extra mile and really make your vision a reality. And we've had so much of that over the past year. And it was just, it was a, it was a phenomenally humbling and just, it was just a brilliant experience. And I think that's how good business happens, right? Somebody sees a great idea, has the right connection, has the right content, whatever it may be, and then reaches out to other people. Um, but a lot of that just stems from having that underlying attitude that we want to collaborate, we want to work together. I love nothing better than to sit with an entrepreneur and watch her lights go on and she's thinking through something and I'm asking questions. How much fun is that? I mean, that's just, that just super. And then I watch and then I read about them in the paper and I smile. It's just, it's just very cool. It's just very cool. It is about these relationships. It is about people that have lived in Dallas, that truly love the Dallas-Fort Worth area and the community that it builds. So, I mean, you go look at the roots of EDS, and, and where Ross started his company, it was Dallas. If you go look at Ralph Rogers, where he started Texas Industries, it was Dallas. If you look at Norm Brinker, where he started what's today a global company, Brinker International, it was Dallas, Texas. And I, and I can list the number of stores from Computerland, Sound Warehouse, uh, Container Store, GameStop. I mean, there, was, there, were, there were a raft of entrepreneurial companies that were starting uh, that, that have all gone on. This is pretty fertile, fertile dirt here in Dallas if you want to try and plant a company and grow it.